Hello everybody, I'm Opaflake, you can follow me at Opaflake on Twitter. Time for Subquest 4-5 Liquidation, two special, two Ramosa type abductors, holy shit. Oh man, this submission, holy shit. I know I said holy shit before, holy shit, I'm fighting two Ramosas. I don't know if that's cool, or good, or bad. But I'm getting gunned down by heavy machine weapons guy here. Heavy weapons guy. It costs $5,000 to shoot this gun every second. I don't know, I forgot how that meet the heavy went. <laughs> it's been so long. But yeah, this Ramos isn't flicking around. In fact, I've already, I already died to him. Granted, I got shot with the heavy weapons uh, gun, but it still hurt. Luckily, Anne was there to back me up. Or Nina, rather. Damn, they already downed him down. But, let's finish him off. Assuming we can. Alright, got me a nice little weapon here. I call it Rock on a Stick. And it's destroyed him. But on to the next enemy. The two type of Dectors. Holy shit, man. This is a nice... Oh, I'm sorry, did I say two? I meant... The specialty type of abductor with the Ramosa. That's right, I was fighting two Ramosas. I'm reading the wrong thing, anyways. Fuck the script. I'm gonna do this as I go. What's going on? Holy shit. It's not nice to fight a Ramosa with another abductor. Luckily, this isn't the one with the big-ass head cannon they can throw. Honestly, this one's not really geared up to throw missiles around while Ramosa's here fucking our shit up. Because Ramosa's like to hop around like a motherfucker. And I kind of both like and hate that. They're annoying kitty cats. They like kitty cats, just annoying. A rocket launcher. And I missed. Alright, so I decided to focus on the Ramosa because holy shit, man. Ramosa suck. They just suck. Like, they're they're really easy alone, but when paired with another abductor, they're just painful. And it was lucky that this one flinched twice in order to get my spin attack on him. And he's he got flinched again. I don't know how we're doing it, but they're free hits, so I'm gonna go with the wind up hit because I don't have enough time to charge it twice to level two. And he's about to die. He's about to die. Please die. Please die. Alright, rocket launcher and death. Those seem to mix rather well, right? Anyways, defeat the two Ramosas and the special abductor. We're good. Alright, this mission. This mission, holy shit. I got some okay weapons. Nothing I would want to keep, I guess. But doing the subquest reduced my sentence by 3,156 years. On to DS4 Stash 6 Liquidation. Again, gotta kill more abductors. Quadrupeds and all, well, they're all purpose quadrupeds, which means, well, you'll see. Yep, all purpose quadrupeds mean I'm geared up out the wazoo. Also, I'm the most damaging type of, uh, well, not damaging, but tankiest of types of abductors. Yes, this guy is rather annoying because he has rockets on his shoulders and guns on his hands. Luckily, it isn't the, um, the fully decked out ones, uh, the ones with the really big hands. This one has the titties. But these are still quite annoying, um, because the, these, the one with the titties, the chest titties, the pods and the titties and the pod in the back, three pod abductors, they have those blood cell blades in the back and those are really damn annoying. 
I I don't know what's more annoying. This abductor or the Ramosas. But if they were combined in a tight room, I would fucking I'd be upset. I'd be mad. I'd rage. I'd do all those stuff. At once and create a new emotion. That's how, that's how much I would dislike it. However, it does fair for a cool challenge. Of course, I don't think there's a mission that does that, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad with that, but yeah. Anyways, shoot the titties. Shoot the nipple. Shoot the... what's the word? The peck. The pecs. Wait, peck? Peck is singular, right? Pecs, pecs. Pecs, yeah. Peck is singular. I just I had to correct myself and shit, man. You never know. I might be hearing this when I'm like 40 years old. I'll be like, oh, I did it. Because I said pecs. But I should have said peck. But yeah, I gotta keep these guys healthy. I mean... I know um, I got two healers here, but she's not that great when we're very when we need it. Cause she tends to heal at under 40%. But anyways, we got another abductor. This one isn't a quadruped, but this one is decked out with gun arms. Not the most lethal of weapons, but it can be deadly if aimed like that properly when he's running like a motherfucker. Also, he has a head cannon, which isn't nice. Cause this abductor likes to jump like a, a lot. This jump, this, this type of abductor. Yeah, this, this, this abductor just likes to jump everywhere. And his, from what I know, this abductor's jump damage does the most damage of almost all other abductors. I could be wrong about that, though. Alright, let's take this guy down with my new weapon. I don't know why I hooked on him, but I did. I guess it made me help me aim better. Let's shoot the dick. Tackle the dick. And then shoot the dick some more. And he was just working on the pot area. I guess you wanted another flinch on him. Which actually is kind of handy. But again, we're not done here. We still gotta find out. We still gotta fight the special abductor. Well, the uh, abductor we were assigned to take now. Again, same model. This time now he has rocket arms. And these aren't. These are pretty lethal. But now we're fighting two abductors at once. And. Yeah, this guy is decked out. The one at the furthest away from us right now. That's the one you don't wanna worry That's the one you wanna worry about the most. At least I think so. Alright. I'm trying to take out his rocket arms because it's going to be the most annoying thing on this guy. And one rocket arm is better than two rocket arms. And there's a jump attack. I was too busy reloading that I couldn't jump off. Oh man, this quadruped though. I, I think that's the most annoying quadruped of all quadrupeds. Only because it's the most decked out. It has shoulder pads. Luckily they didn't deck him out fully. But they did give him armor on his shoulder pads, because usually the stronger ones, I, from what I remember, have uh, more stuff on them. And now we got some humans coming out. I managed to take out the head cannon one to single single it down to this quadruped, one we've seen before. He's dying, he's burning thanks to my gun. But holy shit, he is not giving up without a fight, because he runs everywhere and wrecks shit up. And I don't know how I survived that attack. But I want to get healed. And I just healed. Elfie, though, just to get grabbed. Let her go! The only way to escape that is if you make him flinch. Oh, for the AI. The only way to save the AI is if you make him flinch. Or, oh man, they just spawned another. That's right, they spawned another abductor. This is the one, this is the, uh, the quadruped you have to take down. You can take out that other abductor for parts, but they're just gonna be spawning infinitely until you take this one down, or until you fail the mission. I never really died once, you can see on the top left. Alright, fast forward to this guy. He's about to fall. The weapon I'm using are um, rocket launchers, but they home on. But you have to be close enough and you have to target the right spot or lock down to the right spot. They're good for anti-personnel though. Anywho, for a start, this, this one did take a while because I should have focused on the quadruped, but I did not notice that. Got a nice handy amount of weapons, mostly those rockets. Uh, nothing that I would want to keep, honestly. So, donate them all, right? Don't eat this shit. I got better. However, some of them do look enticing. Anyways, combined items, uh, combat items, combined items, combat items. Uh, nothing great. They're, uh, mini machine guns. Gonna donate everything because I'd rather have some, uh, a sentence reduction of 3,324. Which is pretty neat. On to the final subquest, CT4-7 Citizen Reclamation. 
gotta pretty much you gotta save uh, three citizens. Not that bad, I guess. Oh boy, Res elements are resistant of darkness. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. But anyways, I skipped to where they are because they're actually spawned far from where we were landed. So first off is the Thunder Resistant Abductor. These guys look pretty damn cool, honestly, I must say. Um, I have no Thunder type weapons, so I'm okay. Honestly, most of my elemental weapons are very low elemental base, nothing more than five. The other one has the highest elemental damage right now is um, Merity. With uh, 20 ice damage on her Dragon Fang, I believe. Anyways, save the citizen! Because we already took down this abductor rather easy. However, shit's gonna get more uh, crazy because while one abductor is really easy to take down, fighting two abductors at once, especially when this one has a shield, is gonna be different. The reason I say two is because the red one, the heat resistant abductor, is right behind him. And someone's gonna get bounty, not get knocked over there and aggro him. Honestly though, the ice resistant abductor is pretty badass. I managed to take out one of his shields. Which actually renders my barber useless, but I really gotta take these shields off for Merity and um Marie, since she also has a barber. Anyways, we got two objectives on us. Heat and cold. It's always fire and ice, man. The fire one though has lasers on his shoulders, and those lasers are hurt. They're easy to dodge, but they hurt. The only reason I'm focusing the ice is because the, this is the one we gauge first. Also, I have fire bullets, so might as well. So, save the citizen. Which is actually a bad idea. You should always save the citizen after you kill the abductor, unless it's the last citizen, because uh, that happens. And then they just get caught, and you have five minutes to save them if they get recaptured. Also, if you save the citizen before you kill the abductor, and you even manage to get it to the RU unit, your accessory is susceptible to getting caught. I don't really recall uh, if Merity got caught in this mission or after this mission, but I do remember having to do the subquest over be or re reclaim my accessory because they got caught. That's when I learned. Don't take out the citizen. Kill the abductor first. However, I'm about to finish this mission by saving them, so why the fuck not, right? Also, now that I notice, this is one of the earliest missions. Yeah, this is where Mary got, Merity got caught. And I tried my damn best to save her. Spoilers, I don't save her. I probably would have been able to save her had I just... Actually, no, I think even if I returned to Citizen, I would have lost her. But I'm trying my damn best to save her. I tried. I tried, Merity. I tried. Oh no, this is more to save her. Sweet! Holy shit! I totally forgot. Anyways, fuck fighting them. I'm just gonna complete it with six star. Got some nice parts. Three elementals, so if you need elemental, you know, abductor parts, this is the nice earliest entry for you to do it. Um, okay, decent parts, uh, but nothing too spectacular here. Anyways, with that said, then I have reduced my sentence to or by 2660 years. Anyways, that's it for this subquest part. I'm a fake leak. Hey, thanks, bye!